Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I want to talk about something very specific, which is about me returning my Dell XPS 15 2020. First, I'm going to be talking about the specs and price of the XPS, and then I'm going to be talking about why I'm returning it, which is basically because of the trackpad, and uh, I'm going to talk about what else is great about this machine. So, let's begin. Alright, the specs of my XPS 15 2020 was a 10th generation Intel Core i7-10750H with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti, 16GB of DDR4 2933MHz RAM and 512GB of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD storage. Now price. I bought this PC at 2,599 Singapore dollars or roughly 1,940 United States dollars. That was during a sale of $800 off my specific Dell XPS 15 machine, which means that the original price would be 3,399 Singapore dollars or 2,536 US dollars. If you were to buy the exact same XPS 15 model in the US, it will cost you $1,750 US dollars because mine is the white colored option. This translates to about $2,345 Singapore dollars. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about why I returned the Dell XPS 15. So, the main reason I returned this machine is because of the trackpad. Now what's so bad about the trackpad you may ask? Well, here's the whole story. When I first got the Dell XPS 15, the trackpad was uneven. The left side of the trackpad was lower than the three other corners of the trackpad, which made it really annoying and uneven. So I got the first trackpad that came with the XPS 15 replaced by a technician and a uh, funny thing was that they replaced the whole top assembly which means that the whole keyboard, trackpad and the whole plastic palm rest was replaced just to replace the trackpad. So, what happened? Well, essentially, this first replacement trackpad had a sticking sound and feel to both the right and left side of the trackpad. This was more evident on the right side than the left, but it was apparent on both sides either way. Here's that sound if you were curious as to how it sounded like. So, I got a second trackpad replacement from another technician, which means that they replaced the whole keyboard assembly again, and guess what? It was the same. It still had that sticking sound and feel on both the right and left side of the trackpad. And it was still evident on the right, but apparent on both sides either way. So at that point, I had waited two weeks to get two replacements, which both of them didn't work. And that is on top of a one month or roughly one month shipping time from when I ordered the Dell XPS 15. So it had been a really long time since I ordered the PC to this whole issue. At that point, I gave up and so I emailed the Dell XPS representatives again and this time they offered me a refund and return rather than getting a replacement unit even though I did request an offer to have a replacement unit. Uh, apparently it was because they had no guarantee that the replacement unit will not have the same issue. So it makes me feel that I guess the Dell XPS 15 2020 has a sort of trackpad design flaw or really poor quality control. All that aside, I still have some great things to say about the Dell XPS 15 2020 and why I think that you may want to consider uh, picking one up for yourself. So, in the short time I had to use it, performance for the Dell XPS 15 2020 was really good. For a relatively thin and light 15 inch laptop, with these kind of specs, it performed much better than I expected. 
It had no problem achieving 60 frames per second in games such as in World of Tanks at maximum graphics and VSync, but then again, it is a 60Hz screen at 1080p. The fans were pretty loud, which is something to take note of, I guess. Overall, the keyboard was good and there was a good typing experience, but the backlight has some work to work on. The keys had some bleed through the edges of the keys, and the keys weren't very evenly lit throughout. Overall, the speakers were pretty good. They do get quite loud and the bass and details were pretty decent, but they somehow aren't as detailed as my MacBook Pro 13-inch 4 Thunderbolt model from 2016, which is surprising because that goes to show that even 2020 Windows laptops can't beat a MacBook Pro from 2016. With all that said, here is my conclusion about the Dell XPS 15 2020. Overall, it is a great machine, but it does fall short in build quality or quality control and potentially a design flaw in the trackpad. As seen in earlier shipments, the trackpad of the Dell XPS 15 was found to be wobbly. This was rectified in later shipments of the XPS 15, but mine had its own problems such as the sticking and uneven trackpad at the start. So here's the deal. You could buy this premium 15 inch Windows laptop with good performance if you do not mind taking a gamble. However, I would also say to not buy this machine because there are other alternatives out there that are cheaper and have potentially better quality control and build quality. So that's been it. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It really helps the channel out. But if you dislike this video, do give it a thumbs down and let me know down in the comments what I can do to improve my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.